hello guys uh, so in this lecture we are going to create our car or our player so in assets folder right click and create a new folder scripts now go to this folder and in this folder select vehicles and let's drag the car1 prefab and now you can see our car1 game object in the scene so click on create and create a empty game object and select this settings icon and click on reset and let's rename it to car1 and let's drag our car prefab into this car1 and make it a child of this now let's create a script so select scripts folder right click and create a c sharp script and name it player controller now select car1 and drag the script to its inspector now double click on it to open it in visual studio okay so the first thing we need for our car is a speed the speed at which our car will move so create a new serialized field private float speed and then create another serialized field angle speed the speed will be used for movement and the angle speed will be used for rotation next we need reference to our rigid body so we create a private rigid body and call it my body and then we will have a private int current angle and this will be used to store current angle of our game object now in start just type my body is equal to get component rigid body now we want our player to change its position in fixed update so change update to fixed update and then we type transform dot translate vector three dot forward and we multiply it with speed and time dot delta time if we play let's add speed to let's say phi and angle speed 15 but angle speed won't do anything right now so let's play and it's moving so let's go back and let's now click on add component and go to physics and add a rigid body as we require a rigid body we don't want use gravity so tick it so untick it and is kinematic to true and let's set mass to 100 and here in constraint we don't want our car object to rotate on x or z axis so just tick them now let's go back to our script and here now we want our car to rotate uh, as we click on our screen so let's say we click on the right side of our screen and we want our car to rotate on the right side like this and when we click on the left side we want it to rotate on the left side so what we can do is we will create a new method so public void move left and we type transform dot rotate and we rotate on vector 3 dot up and up is positive y axis into our angle speed into our time dot delta time we want to rotate on left side so our vector 3 dot up will be negative let's copy this method and paste it below and it will be move right and here we want it to be positive now let's create the update method so in update we will check our mouse position so we type if input dot get mouse button 0 now we create a float variable x 
and we pass input dot mouse position dot x that's mouse x position then we check if x is less than screen dot width divided by 2 and x is greater than 0 then we will call our mouse left method let's copy it and paste it below and here we check if x is greater than screen dot width divided by 2 and x is less than screen dot width then we move right so basically what we are doing here is we are getting our mouse position that means when we click on our screen we are getting its x position and we are checking if the x position is greater than 0 and less than screen width so if you see this will be our mid of our screen and this is the x axis so this will be half of the screen and this will be other half so if we click on this half of the screen that means between 0 and screen width divided by 2 then we will say to move on the left side and if we click on this half of the screen that is x is greater than screen width divided by 2 and screen width then we will move in the right side so now let's try it so if i let's save our scene so save scene and remember to save your scenes and also save your scripts after completing and let's click on play and you can see our player is rotating let's let's increase our angle speed to let's say 90 and, uh, and if i click so now it will rotate faster so depending upon the angle speed its turning speed will be more so now you can see our player is rotating and moving so let's add the collider so double click on the game object and let's zoom in and let's add the collider so click on this box icon here so if you are in perspective view click on this box icon to go in isometric and then click on this arrow here so you go in 2d mode so you can go in any axis 2d mode y z x depending so let's add the collider so click on add component and select physics and select box collider and let's adjust the collider so click on this icon here or edit collider and just drag these nodes to adjust them like this and let's see if width okay okay now so let's go in our model and let's see its position so set this position x to 0 and z to 0 and let y be what it is by default now it will be perfectly at the center okay so guys we have our player and its controller so this is for this video guys and i will see you in the next lecture